Hello, this is Dave with Digital Foundry here and welcome back to The Revolution. Yes, there's another update for Homefront The Revolution, but this time it's the one you've all been waiting for. It's the one that finally fixes the game's performance issues. So, first up we've got a look at PlayStation 4, and as you can see here the difference is pretty remarkable. So Homefront has always targeted 30fps, but previously it really struggled to hit that frame rate. In fact, at launch it was a mostly 20-25fps game, and although subsequent patches did indeed improve things, performance was never where we really expected it to be. Well, this latest patch changes everything. So, as you can see, frame rates now stick really closely to the 30fps line, and in fact, they stay mostly locked to that target outside of demanding scenes, where we see a few small frame rate drops. And in addition to that, frame pacing issues that previously appeared when the game was running at 30fps has also been resolved, so it's a smoother experience all round. So that's PlayStation 4, but how about Xbox One? Well, we see a similar boost in performance on Microsoft's console too. Now previously frame rates weren't hit quite as hard on Microsoft's platform, however with the latest patch enabled, frame rate drops are very rare indeed, and instead we're looking at a mostly solid 30fps throughout. We do still get the occasional torn frame and one or two fps drops now and then, but these don't really impact on gameplay, and for the most part, performance is very steady indeed. So with this latest update installed, performance is now in line with what we'd expect from a current generation game, but how exactly did the developer manage to do this? Well it looks like a combination of optimization and the removal of certain key effects which proved to be demanding. Shadow quality is one aspect which has been pared back. In this scene we can see how real time shadows on certain dynamic objects have been removed in the latest update. In this case the tank here no longer casts a shadow directly beneath or to the right of it, resulting in slightly less depth to this particular scene. Lighting has also seen some changes too. In this particular area there was previously a spotlight cast over the lady as she moves across the room, whereas in the latest patch this has been completely omitted, and the knock-on effect here is a slightly darker look to this particular scene. Now these changes have been deployed across the entire game, but they're not always quite so obvious. Yes, some scenes lack the same kind of depth as they did before, or they perhaps look slightly different with regards to how they're illuminated, but for the most part the core actual art design and aesthetic remains the same, and on the flip side performance is massively improved. Yeah, I imagine there's going to be a few people that are going to moan about the removal of these visual effects, but on the flip side, performance is dramatically improved to a point where the game is actually highly playable now, where stutters, frame rate drops no longer really get in the way of the action. And for me, personally, I think it's a worthy trade-off. Ultimately, the game still looks very impressive from a technological point of view, and in some cases you could argue that these downgrades seen in the latest patch perhaps should have been there in the original game to begin with. But either way you look at it, patch 1.08 finally resolves Homefront the Revolution's performance issues, and it means the game is now actually fully playable on consoles. So if you were previously put off from trying out the game on console due to the performance issues, now's the perfect time to give it a try. Anyway, that about covers it. I hope you enjoyed the analysis, and if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe if you'd like to support Digital Foundry too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.